There was a time when most of Denton ISD was full of wide open spaces. That time has passed. Denton County is currently the third fastest growing county in Texas, and you can feel that growth in our classrooms. Our enrollment has ballooned to more than 32,000 students. We've built some beautiful buildings to make room for the new kids in our family. Buildings with high ceilings, large classrooms, and lots of natural light. Buildings designed to get the most out of every second of the school day. In our new school um, it, and collaborative spaces, it was designed, especially as students move into the upper grades, um, for, for modern learning. It's really designed around um, students getting to use technology in their learning and just to accomplish things that back when schools were built, like the original Woodrow Wilson was built back in 1960, the designers and architects of these original buildings just could not have imagined what the learning landscape would be like for students in 2022. These new campuses are a marvel, but that's created another problem. Edgar, what's in danger? We are 53 years old here at Borman Elementary. We're proud of our community. We're proud of um, who we are, and we've been a staple here for a long time. They're proud of their school, but that doesn't mean there aren't challenges. As you walk in um, to Borman, you will, you will feel the ceilings, like almost feel like they're, I could probably touch them if I raised my hand. Um, in the classrooms, they are smaller. There's no windows, and that might not sound like anything big. However, just having that connection with the outdoors makes a big difference for, th for our students. The rooms are all different, and they all offer, um, you know, their own obstacles because they were built in a time where education was different. It makes it twice as hard because my time, instead of me using my time to plan instruction and better serve my, serve my, my students, I have to devote a big amount of my time um, trying to solve these extra challenges that we have to face. Challenges that never cross the minds of teachers and students at our newer campuses, but they're always on the minds of teachers in our older buildings. They make it work on those campuses, but it's hard on a functional and emotional level. When you think about it, it does feel a little bit unfair, like all students should be able to have those same resources and that same educational experience. We all see it on social media. We see the beautiful sand, sand brock and, and how it's the stable and it, you just walk in and you look at it and um, there, it's, it's hard to see that and know what we're dealing with. I like for them to grow up and have a bigger rooms and windows and enjoy it like the other kids in another different schools, like the new ones. Our families are the ones that helped us get through COVID. They're the working families and they, sorry, they uh, want what's best for their kids and they work hard every day and they don't have a choice to send them to another school. They want it here. They love this community, but it's, um, it's difficult because a lot of times they don't know the difference. It's a difference that was created by time and growth. And neither of those things appear to be leaving Denton ISD anytime soon.